brand new video. It's very echoey in this hallway. Um, today is another car hire day, but we hired it again separately, so we've got to go back to the desk to collect another car. Um, we're not sure we'll get the same one we had yesterday, but that is the plan. And then we're headed to Pearl Harbor, hopefully to do that, depending on how long the queue is. And then we have the movie tour. Oh, there's a light here. Very bright. Um, we've got the movie tour at 12.45, which I think is like three, four hours long. And then I don't, oh, and then we're going to North Shore or North Beach because one of the girls at the hotel recommended it. So make sure to come along. So we have just made Pearl Harbor. Hopefully we'll be able to go in because there doesn't seem to be too much of a queue. I'm just waiting for Lewis to uh, get his groove on. But yeah, here we are. I don't know how much I'm going to film because obviously I want to be respectful, but I'll show you, but maybe to music. just left the memorial which I will tell you about when we get to our next stop but we are now off to minimums which I can't say the word um, after watching Luke and Rich's video because I want the red velvet pancakes but this looked really cool but we can't see it anymore because we've gone around the corner and look at this view wow it's amazing we're about to go through a tunnel through a mountain We've just got to the Glow Ranch for our tour. Can we just talk about how amazing this place is? So you have to check in for your tour. We've got 10 minutes to our tour, so I'm in a super rush. But this is the check-in area. So we've just got on the bus. It's like an aircon bus, and then we got these little lanyards. But there's all different stepping, stepping. There's all separate check-in areas. So you've got like the premier one, and then the regular one here, and then like. You can do horseback riding. There's a jungle checking desk over there. There's Lou. We ran, we were nearly, we were so late. We nearly missed it. So this is where Jurassic Park was filmed. There's a tree. Oh my gosh, a tree. Whoa, and there's a Jurassic Park sign over there. So this is where they um, got in the like gyrospheres in Jurassic World and they said they normally have a sign but because there's weddings they take it down. But look at the view. Oh my gosh. Wow. Try and want to offload some of the different things onto us. But they wanted really high prices for everything and we knew that they were not in a position to be bargaining because they were already under legal contract to remove it and they were already so far in debt that shipping it out was going to be more So even though the bones are mostly fiberglass and uh, styrofoam, all the big piles of brown stuff that we put, it's going to be actual... <laughs> actual poop. Brown poop. You don't stand in the brown poop. This is where they filmed Kong. This is crazy. Whoa! Just fell down. <laughs> doesn't feel real like I can't explain you have to see it with your own eyes because it's just the most insane place I've ever seen in my life am I allowed to touch it oh it's it's weird oh my gosh he's picking it up 
by where they film Snatched, the film which is really funny, um, but they've actually setting up to film Magnum PI so I'm wondering if that's why they've maybe taken some of the bits down and then this was the restaurant from 51st Dates. How cool. This is so cool. So yeah they're setting this up and he says like they'll be here for a week and that will be in the show for like 10 minutes or something so so cool. Oh, Blair, you're making it shake. We're on a floating dock now. This is so cool. This would be literally the most coolest place to get married because they have like the little bowl. Whoa, we're moving lots. The bar area, there's like this bit of grass where I guess you could have like a meal. It'd be so pretty because of this view. Oh. We're in Jurassic World. This is the bit where it escapes. This is so yeah, cool. The frame is also steel, so the frame is real. And this is where they have the viewing deck where they could look over. Oh, this is so cool. All of this grass is that same grass that the uh, cows don't like to eat when it goes to seed like this. So they don't enjoy coming in here at all. Um, they cleared it this all so out cool. for the film and then they brought in a lot of potted plants, potted ferns and potted... show you and also going to the what's that bar called oh only bar um we stopped some pizza on the way home which i just didn't vlog because we were super hungry so we ate it in about five minutes so i just thought i would wait till we go back to the hotel and show you around a bit more i'm very worn out and it's only like quarter seven so we'll show you what the shop's like because that's where we're headed to first to buy spirit jersey and an alex nanny bracelet for alani here is a little shop to the side, which I think is swimwear and stuff. And then this is the main store. It's got pumpkins outside. This side is mainly Duffy. And what's her name? Stella Lou, I think is her name. But this is like all this type of side is all that kind of stuff. So, Hawaiian shirt. This has got, oh, this feels, oh, this is a Hawaiian style polo shirt. Very jazzy. Oh, these are the things you can find all around the resort. You've got t-shirts, ears. I swear I did not see these the other day. These are cute. And you've also got these ears here. Oh, thank you, those hats, key rings, it, the ear hat things, loads of t-shirts, mugs. They also have Halloween merch, Duffy's, more t-shirts, they also have a little store over the back with like Cokes and Waters beers and stuff. It's so busy in here. Halloween, key rings, oh my gosh look at these, I have not seen these, oh my gosh they're so cute, Minnie Mouse, they're obviously just setting all the Halloween stuff out now. <laughs> 
They also have spirit jerseys and like a spirit jersey style Rain Mac. And a crop spirit jersey. And then this spirit jersey which I'm gonna get, which is so cute. I don't actually know what's on the front. I'm getting this. And then you've got a load of other Hawaiian style bits and pins. Lots of Alani pins. Which one did we decide we were going to get? The classic one. Or, I don't know, what one do you want? You want to get that one? Okay, Lewis, you can't just point at them. <laughs> okay, Lewis wants one of everything, thank you. We bought quite a few bits, so I will show you that when we get back into the room. But now we have come to the Chloe room. And we've come to sit outside, which is really nice because they have live music on. So we thought we would come outside. Look how nice it is. Lewis wants these lights. And then this is the inside area, so you can just sit up at the bar, which is all open seating, and the rest of the tables just have to wait to be sitting down, but obviously it's quite quiet at the moment. Um, in here they do, I don't know if you can see, because it's not going to focus, they do appetizers. They also have a happy hour, which blows my mind for Disney. They re when have you seen a Disney hotel have a happy hour, so that's cracking. Uh, they do wine, beers, and cocktails. And the cocktails sound amazing. So yeah, they also do more cocktails. And non-alcoholic cocktails. And then at the back as well, they have the whole menu in Japanese, which is kind of cool. And we learned today that appetizer in Hawaiian is poo poo. And that's how you say it. Pardon? Appetizer. Meat. No, P, P, P is P, P. No, P is meat. No, I don't think it's P, P. I think it's P. And then poo poo is appetizer. There you go. here kind of bathroom hallway um, we just finished our drink and then we headed down to the beach but it's so dark that you couldn't really see anything I feel like we've crammed in at least four solid days worth of activities in two days because literally we only had the car hire today and yesterday so we've lit everything that we've done we've basically sca scammed we've basically crammed four days maybe five days worth of activities into two days and my legs hurt I'm tired like my leg muscles are ruined from that hike yesterday so if you do come here and do that hike we went on be prepared your legs are gonna hurt like the next day like I just went to sit down and it was like a burning sensation they are in a lot of pain basically I think there was so much lactic acid in my legs that now it's just lingering and it hurts a lot anyway Tomorrow is our last full day here, and we have a character breakfast at Ama, no, at Makiki, Makiki, I think, I don't know. That's at 8.30, so a line tomorrow, which I cannot wait for, because we've been up and out at the car high place for just before eight every day for the last two days, so. It'll be nice to have a small line, and then we're gonna have like a pool day, beach day, chill, last go on the Lazy River, all that stuff, and then we have dinner tomorrow night at Ama Ama at 8.45, I think. We also want to see the storytelling around the fire pits. There'll be lots of you guys to watch tomorrow. And then we're headed to LA on Tuesday for a whole week. So we still have a week more to go of fun stuff. So make sure to stay tuned. So if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. And also please don't forget to subscribe down below because we've still got nine more days of content coming your way. So we've still got a load more stuff. So I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.